All right. Oh God. He would despise Junko. <laughs> yeah. Um, I did Danganronpa before I started the four Danganronpa games before I started Persona. All right. Welcome back, Twitch. Welcome back, YouTube. Let's get back to just another game, Persona 5 Royal. There's an active alarm in the velvet room, so let's go. F oh my God! Stop doing that. Time for me to mute. <laughs> Uh, let's go to the Velvet Room and itemize Vishnu. You did not give me Lois history, that is correct. That's true, Nagito. And probably, uh, probably Gremlin. Probably would not like Gremlin. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Oh, hey, everything's back to normal. The prison door is open. I have been waiting. The state of the Velvet Room reflects the state of your own heart. The room's shape reflects your showing the spirit of rebellion to the entity that binds your future. Indeed. Your change in appearance must also be due to the rebellious spirit you've harbored for so long. Oh, we're, we we won't spoil spoil you. We we're pretty good about spoilers. Which one are you watching? One, two, three, or Despair Girls? And with that spirit, you appear to have gained a new possibility as well. What do you mean, possibility? Then. The current you should be capable of fusing new personas. Please make good use of this to keep the ruin at bay. Gotcha. I like Very the second well. one the best, but that's all I'll say. We will continue to provide aid on your perilous journey. Now to your business. Alright, so are you guys sure I can't fuse Satanial? I've been waiting for you. Marafite. The Cub Scouts play through. Oh. Gotcha. All right, hang Please on. Please be aware that there is an alarm in effect. Let us aim for greater heights. Get his best gun. This is a stronger version because of the alarm. All right, attack 330, accuracy 9, rounds 5, high dizzy upgraded version of the slingshot Sudarshana. Sudarshana. You go ahead. Skip it. Acquire gun. Excellent. Alright. Um or Calcum R, I believe, is another Let us aim for the top with accessories as well. Accessory. I don't think it's as good as the crystal one though. You're stopping? How was the alarm? No, you're not you're fine, extreme. It's perfectly reasonable to say. Uh, please don't spoil me because I'm watching this game. Like, that's completely fair. Alright, I want to equip him. Then we'll do some fights. I didn't want to leave all the way, but sure. Alright, we're gonna take gun. Cat, stop clawing that chair. There we go. Oh, hey, can you heal me, actually? You did not heal me. Okay. I love how she walks in behind me. I don't know why. I just think that's such a good animation. Maybe it's the hair. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I didn't want to talk to May you. May luck be on your side. Uh, Alright, yeah, talk to Lavenza there. What shall we do? Uh, special battle. For the first time ever. <laughs> for level 10! <laughs> A new mode has been unlocked for challenge battles. A new mode has been unlocked for challenge battles full moon. A new mode has been unlocked for challenge battles foggy day. Alright. Trial, entry level mode that tests combat fundamentals including striking weaknesses of supports and baton passing. Challenge battle, a mode where you identify enemy weaknesses and change baton passes to achieve a high score. 
technical and advanced mode in which you aim for a high score by applying status elements and scoring technical hits. Survival and expert mode in which you aim for a high score by surviving and enduring the enemy's fierce attacks. Trickster, a mode that will test masters of all elements of combat, including attacking, guarding, and supporting. Full Moon. A special battle against the cognitive echo of a certain Persona user who fought to prevent the fall of humanity. Foggy Day, a special battle against the cognitive echo of a certain Persona user who dispelled a strange otherworldly fog. And that's it. Alright. Full Moon. Challenge battle rewards and bonuses. There are three different types of rewards you can receive in challenge battle depending on your final score. You can only obtain each type once. You cannot do a hold up or all out attack during a challenge battle. However, if you fulfill certain conditions, you will receive bonus points. On the rewards screen, use the up and down to view the bonus requirements and opponents. Aim for a high score by utilizing your party members accordingly. All right. Within 20 actions plus 25,000 points, bless attack score times five, Morgana attack score times four, takedown score times 10. Seize boy! Endure. Okay. All right. Sure. Round one! Fight! During a challenge battle, you can view your current score, the score needed to obtain a reward, and the score bonus requirements. Even if you lose the challenge battle, the game won't end. If you feel that you can't win, press L2 and select Escape in the Order menu. Challenge battle scores are based on damage dealt. Aim for a high score by dealing massive damage. Will you be able to overcome this foe? Probably. Who the heck is this guy? He's kinda like Joker, I think. Never mind. Just don't lose. I'll do everything I can to help. Alright, well, I probably want Morgana in on this fight, so Samiri, you're out. Morgana, you're in. Actually, didn't even think about that. Samir is the wrong one to take out. Oh well. Hey, any advice here? Take this! Oh, you want more? I am great. Good job. Finish it. Orpheus. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome, Mona. Persona. Cancel Alright, we got fifteen more actions. Actually, probably worth pursuing. I'm not staying down. Go! For real? 
God damn it. I knew that too. They shut our tarot cards. What's the hold up? Doing stuff. I don't want to. I did see that Persona 4 was on still on scene, but it was only for like $19 down to 10 so I was like, eh. Probably want to put on away. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, bring out Yuska. Fox advancing. I can still take Taco Bell's nacho fries commercials. What? Oh, his weakness changed. All right, screw it. Fuck! Makoto is a fairly common name. Let's go. Oh, now he's weak to bless. Um, sure, try it. Why not? Yeah, I kind of expected that. Prepare yourself. Tenacious. Great. He resists, but not blocks by uh, physical. Did he change again? Yes. Um, well, maybe he still won't resist it. Go down. No, nope, he resists it. Persona. Hmm. Someone finish it. Um, do this. Try this. I am thou. I lend it. We're not going to get a very good score here. Clearly. I'm not staying down. Ouch. Somebody no, slap him. His body's seizing up. Uh there we go. Perfect. I'll try this. P3 is great unless you have P3 what's P3P? Oh, portable. Nice work, Crow. Hot for my persona. Oops. Impossible. I'm not staying down. So it's P3 for the PlayStation 2 as well. Oh. 
Okay. Try Boofadine. Take this! Oh, actually, pay attention to shit, maybe. Okay, he's resisting ice now. I'll break them. P3 and P4 are both PS2. I kind of expected, like, for this being 30 levels lower to, you know... Probably be a little bit less of a damage sponge, but I don't know, maybe it scales. Ooh, Joker, you're looking cool. Let's go. Nice one, Joker. You hit its weakness. Alright, let's see if I can finish it with Joker. That should do play as a red-headed girl. Oh, shit. Hold everything. I'm not staying down. Come on, you. What? Crow's got some moves. Persona. All right. Come on to know, Orochi. So, weak to lightning. What's my best lightning move? Really is that? Okay. You're mine. Ooh, Joker, you're looking cool. Persona! There. Yay, we got a reward. Finished. We did not get the bonus. We got the money thing, though. Not the best. But certainly not the worst. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks so much. An impressive result indeed. All right, we've got Silver Moon. Challenge battle scores are based on the amount of damage dealt. Therefore, dealing massive damage will help you obtain a high score. <laughs> Yay! Use abilities such as support skills, baton pass, and technical in order to obtain a high score. Bonus effects will give you an even higher score. All right, P4 fight. The Vinza. Special battle. New difficulty for full moon. Oh, good, because I was. Oh, God, really? Wait, what? Oh, I can change the difficulty of the specific challenge. Okay, alright. I get it. Alright, foggy day. Let's see, Thunder Charm, Wild Thunder, Ollie Dance, Silver Mist. Within 20 actions, 300,000, Physical Attack score times 5, Technical Attack score times 7, Haru Attack score times 4, Me Take Down uh, times 10, Investigation Team Boy. This is the one where they jump through movies, isn't it? I'm kind of curious about that one. Yeah, there we go, start the battle. This fight's way easier. He's less of a damage sponge. I like his theme. Will you be able to overcome this foe? Who the heck is this guy? <laughs> He's kind of like Joker, I think. Never mind. Just don't lose. I'll do everything I can to help. Don't use that word. I really don't like that word. Persona. Um. All right, let's see what physical attack is going to use. Thank you. Go down. Ooh, Joker, you're looking cool. Go. Yes. That's better. I will accept that. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay, this one seems more straightforward. 
maybe. Um, let's swap you out. Bring in Haru. Just wait 14 more days? Why 14 more days? He's a pretty boy, has a chance to romance a character romanced by Laura, voiced by Laura Bailey. <laughs> I brought in the wrong person. Oh no, I did. Okay. Um... Ah, gotcha. I can't let it in like this. Okay, I'm gonna. S Easiest way to get technical is to swap you scout for on. Alright, one shot kill. That was pretty decent. I mean, it's okay that you're apologizing for using that word, and I appreciate you not using it in the future. Uh, and I know you don't want any spoilers, but just remember, like, you, you can just say, please don't spoil it for me. Joker Makoto, that's pretty weak. Oh, Briggs Tarot card, yeah. I know you like to be over the top, and usually I don't mind it. Like, because that's your personality and that's fine. Everybody's got what everybody's got their own thing. But that word really bothers me. It just does. Um See. Ooh, let's try. No, not that one. Um, yeah, this one. You are mine. I want that dragon. Uh, is that maybe too long? Wait, is that not getting every possible one? Because that's kind of disappointing if it's not. This is a part of me. I'll take the four. Well, I was going. It should be a physical, like technical Haru attack. So it should get all the multipliers, but it doesn't seem like it is. This is more of an artificial method that this will potentially instinctively manifest their persona when they perceive their death. Still feels pretty violent. Yeah, it just what it just did the horror attack score. It didn't give me the points for the physical attack score. That's kind of disappointing. I am thou. Prepare yourself. I can't let it in like this. Gosha! No way! Joker, are you alright? I'm fine. Joker, your health is low. Watch out! There. Well, we already got a higher score, so. Eh. Listen! 
Persona. Yeah, I don't think. Ooh, not that noir. Okay, no, that time it did give me at least both. I didn't see it give me the physical bonus. I don't know. It's weird. Maybe it's just because of the splash. I'm not seeing it because of um, Oracle Splash. I'm not able to see it. Give me the physical attack score bonus. I lend it. I can't let it in like this. No, no, eighty-three damage. Yeah, he does not care about being in hell. Good to know. I don't get it. <laughs> Why would he? Let it in like this. Can't let it in like this. Fine, I'll use salvation. I appreciate it. Ana is just my sleep bot and my flirt bot. That's all she does. Let's go. Die. No investigation team. Go. Boy is frozen. Go down. Ooh, Joker, you're looking cool. That would have been really cool to wipe him out on. Um. I'm not done. I think I keep looking for it and I still don't have it. Oh, dude, good. It's an L, but I'll take it. Fuck. I can't let it in like this. Yeah, I'm trying to kill a Joker. I was hopeful for like. To get the critical so I could get or the technical so I could get more points, but we'll take it. Just remember that you won at least. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! We won! We got nothing for it. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to practice and Indeed. look more into that. That was interesting. Just remember you won. That's the important thing. Congratulations. <laughs> She's so excited. Uh, where does that leave my stats? Okay. I will eat... I will eat... the soul. Perfect. Okay, back to the monitoring prep room. She's a cold bitch. Push forward, Joker. 
That would be the Justine and her. I'm getting ready. Wow, Fadaba. Wow. Nobody said to, you know, take your boots off. Hey. Hold on, look over there. I thought Caroline was the violent one. And Justine was the... Yeah, Justine was... Well, I guess... But Justine is the calm one, so maybe it's just both of them. Security is even tighter here, apparently. They appear quite formidable. That means this place must be important. Let's take them out whenever we're ready. Uh, we're pretty ready. Eat boops. Eat boop. Damn, they swole, but they skip leg day a lot. We will surely be walking into a fight. Have you finished your preparations? Uh, sure. Good enough. Indeed. Very well, let's go. So you dare defy his excellency. Let us... That is... Oh, that... Yeah, that's right. You shall not interfere with our master's work. Okay, he's pretty cool looking. Don't I have this one? Persona. <laughs> Persona. Metatron. Metatron. I love the way he says that. All right. Okay? Who the hell designed Panther's downed animation? Because they deserve everything. How's this? How's that? Well done. Time for your encore. All right, it's the other one fire. Let's just find out the hard way. Okay, she blocks fire too. But he does not, so that's good to know. Let's go. I lend it. Shukalane and his teacher. Let's go. Go down. All right, he blocks bluff. All right, Psycho's pretty. Psycho's pretty reliable. She blocks fire, so I guess just Agadon then. Wait, thought she what? I, she didn't do anything with fire. Oh, it's the magic wall. That's why. Cooch Lane is an Irish mythical hero who appears in the stories of the Ulster Cycle as well as in Scottish and Manx folklore. The son of the god Lu and Delching, sister to the current god Ulster. He was originally named Satanta, but Gaines is better known as a child after he killed Kulan's fierce guard dog in self defense and offered to take its place until a replacement could be reared. And hydrate! Ah, sorry. Thank you for the hydrate. Persona. All right. Um. Sure. What? All right. Definitely resists physical. I'm gonna bring in some wind. I love the burn effect though. Burn is super good. Gonna look me up on Google and see if I come up. Um, I don't know. My channel might come up, my YouTube channel.
Get that. Shadowy, also known as the Shadowy One, is a legendary figure in the Ulster Cycle of Irish mythology. She is a legendary Scottish warrior woman and martial arts teacher who trains the legendary Ulster hero Kuchulan in the arts of combat texts describe her homeland as Alfi, which commemorators associate with Alba, the Gaelic name of Scotland, where she is especially associated with the Alice Sky, where residents Dune Scoff for the Shadow Stands. No, no. Physical wall. And she's killing herself. Sorry for the trouble. Back up. You want to do it? All Let's right. Teach them a lesson. Wait. It's showtime. Never mind. Pardon me. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait. Ready for pain? Oh, I'm not surprised about that. Wait, didn't Morgana want to do the showtime with Haru and then Mikoto just came in and stole it? That was weird. I mean, I'm not complaining about it. Hmm. I believe that takes care of that. So, where are we now? This room seems very different to the rest of the palace. It was more heavily guarded as well. Well? Could this be some sort of surveillance room? The monitors are displaying various rooms within the palace. Huh? Wait, we were being watched this whole time? I don't know about that. I see. Yep, I knew it. This room's more of a mainframe than a monitoring system. All sorts of information is being collected here from across the palace and getting converted into raw data. Oh? Data collection? But what for? Kinda looks like heartbeat monitors. Wait. You know, this room ain't got any sort of way forward. Think we gotta pa find another path somewhere else? Actually, it looks like there's a path beyond those cables. We're sure not using it as is, though. Beep boop. What is it now? Is that mementos? Yep, yep. I've tracked the location all the data is being sent to. Looks like it's going into mementos. We might be able to make some headway if we investigate this location. That reminds me, Lavenza did tell us. Dr. Maruki is utilizing mementos to distort all of reality. Do you think Gon has an OnlyFans? Um... Maybe, but I don't know how enthusiastic she would be about it. Even so, are those really data cables? Uh, let's go check mementos. Mm. Agreed. Sticking around here isn't going to help us any. Alright, let's get out of here for now. Let's see if a mementos trip does us any good. I want to see that. I don't know how enthusiastic she would be. Like, she does want to be a model, but she also doesn't want to be sexualized. I don't know. Found a safe room, found a safe room, infiltrated the auditorium, obtained the stuff out of the infiltrated warehouse, found a safe room, found a new facility, defeated a powerful enemy that wasn't that powerful. Mm. We got some exploration done, but I don't think we're really at a turning point yet. Yeah. Well, we're finally starting to understand this place a bit more. Let's keep the momentum rolling. Or, I mean, let's come back before we forget what we learned. I knew I made the right choice, Samir. I've got an eye for talent. Yep. Good work today, but you got school tomorrow. Don't step too late and it dies it off. Wow. Wait. What did he have to do with Samir? There has to be like a 10 minute video, just that sound playing. Hey. Oh, you're not gonna let me go at all. Okay. All right. Uh, go to work. Hey. Fuck you. <laughs> Cat, go to sleep. <laughs> Anyone these days? Hang on. Crab raving. Crabbing off camera. Uh, anyone these days can have an OnlyFans, even streamers, although Twitch apparently ain't fond of that. Interesting. 
I'd just like to thank everyone for letting me join the team. I'm glad to be here. Holy shit, this chat is full. I'll do my best to pull my weight. We're happy to have you. Yeah, welcome. But you can listen up a little, okay? Don't worry about being so formal. I'm so sorry. I'll try to address that in the future. Still sounds pretty dang stiff to me. A thousand pardons. And now she sounds like some kind of samurai. Hey, either way, we got another teammate now. That's awesome. Indeed. We're glad to have you as well, Yoshizawa-san. Well, as long as we're dropping the formalities, you don't have to bother with the honorifics. If it's okay, I'd like everyone to just call me Samiri. If you're sure, in that case, well, once again, welcome to the team, Samiri. Thank you. How about tomorrow? Are we all going to that momentous place? I think that was the name. That's an option. But we still have plenty of time. We don't need to attempt an infiltration if we're not wholly prepared. Yeah, that's our leader's call. We'll be counting on you more than ever. Ah, I got your backs. I'm ready anytime. And Akechi just does not participate. Hmm. Akechi is lurking. We've got more firepower now, but our target this time is so much more powerful than any we've faced so far. We should probably get ourselves as ready as possible, like Yusuke said. The first school. Morning. Oh, good morning. About the fan site requests, if I find any this year, I'll be sure to pass the info on to you. Sounds good. Me and my fucking <laughs> blue ass scarf. There aren't as many posts now, but it looks like there are still plenty of people in trouble. We're all counting on you, Phantom Thieves. Dispense justice. Mm. There are still people in trouble out there, huh? That could mean there's still some targets left in Mementos. Whether there are or not, we'd better be prepared for anything. Who knows what might happen? Oh. Good morning. Hey. If it's okay with you, then... Can I see you after school? I'll be in the usual spot. Alright, thanks. Uh, I can go on ahead. Oh, sorry. We're all good now. I'll be counting on you then. I'm gonna get going. See you later. <laughs> I don't know. Let's check. I think your scarf is meant to mirror Samiris. I don't know, but that's like the most gorgeous color blue. I would love to have a scarf like that. I guess I got a drink. <sighs> Does the school's atmosphere seem different to anyone else? Atmosphere being... The general mood, I suppose. Everyone seems so happy. Some of them seem like entirely new people, even. I've been seeing it too. You think this is Dr. Maruki's influence? If their stories and circumstances seem radically different from before, it's a safe bet. Shit, this is also crazy. Let us know if you want to go to Mementos. I can be at the hideout anytime. Hideout? What's up? Where are you all gathering? At LeBlanc. Is that best? It's a public cafe. It's cool. No customers around anyway. We're always there anyways. Then that's settled. We'll all meet up at LeBlanc. Okay, I will see you all there. Hey! Make sure we're all stocked up on important supplies. We don't want to run out of something when we need it most. Shut up. Fucking relaxed gels. I should just, like, buy 99 of them and be done with it. Now then. We have until February 3rd. Let's stay focused here. Mission start. But the hey, hey. Oh, that's right. Didn't it seem like Lady On had something she wanted to say? I think she's at the underground mall right now. Why don't you go check up on her? Oh, it's been a while since I've had... I had, uh... I am. Hello, senpai. Are you free today? If you don't already have plans, can we maybe meet up? Uh... Yeah, I guess I should prioritize her. Yes, thank you very much. I'll be waiting in Kichijoji. Wow, you go far very quickly. Do you know why that one exists and why it's called the way it is? Because, like, it's not much... Of, it's not really a spoiler, but in, um... 
Ultra Despair Girls, you squatty potties are where you save. So every time you take a squatty on a potty, that's your save. I don't know why, but that's the way they designed it. So we call that the booty save. <sighs> Everyone in the world seems so happy, but it isn't right. Should we go to the palace today? We need to stop Dr. Maruki. Uh, let's hang out. What? Hang out? But we have to do something before it's too late. I know you're new here, but don't overthink it. I see. You're right. Maybe I'm getting a little overwhelmed, and I can't do my best if I'm too stuck in my own head. Thank you for your concerns, the pilots. Use this day to relax. That's also why the break screen says taking a wicked save. Um, I... I want to talk to you about something. Do you have time? I feel I can become closer with Samiri thanks to the Faith Persona or Calcum. I feel like our bond will grow, will grow stronger. Well, Alright, let's hang out with Redhead. Thank you. Can I talk to you? Can we go elsewhere? It's a bit difficult to talk about it here. You're the one who went in to meet Kichi Joji. Um. We just still get a chance for third tier N. Oh, was that her third tier opportunity? Well, we'll find out tomorrow, maybe. Um, Senpai. I'm so, so sorry. The seeing me trying to act like Kasumi must have been so painful and awkward for everyone. Everyone must have noticed that I was acting strangely. They were probably just being nice to me, knowing I lost my sister. But even then, I had no idea I was even supposed to be sad. I didn't remember that my sister was gone. When my coach told me to think about who I really am, I thought it was just figurative, something about my slump. I was just living my life like I didn't even know that she was gone. I can't take this shame. Um, what could you have done? Thank you so much. I appreciate what you're saying, but I still can't forgive myself. Ever since we were kids, Kasumi was always the one who decided what I did, what I chose, where I went. I couldn't do anything without her. I suppose it's clear why my grades weren't going up much. I never was on Kasumi's level to begin with. I was so pretentious, so wrapped up in my own stupid little problems. I was too self-absorbed to do anything. Um, calm down. I'm sorry, I lost my composure. Can I talk to you? I'm starting to remember things from our past now. It's hard, but I'm trying. There's a lot. It covers everything starting from when Kasumi and I first got into gymnastics up until just recently. I want to talk about how it used to be for Kasumi and me. Would you listen? Well, like, would you read? Um. Kasumi started gymnastics really early, and I was even younger, so I copied her in almost everything. I went to the class, too. I was too little to really understand the sport or the rules. But everyone praised me when I did well. The coach would get me little rewards, like ice cream cones. We both we did our best trying to learn the moves and routines, since it kept getting us ice cream. Um those must be good memories. Yes. I suppose you're right. We ate ice cream together, we talked, we laughed. Those days were so fun. I like that sound. I think that's just a stock sound I found in the library. And one day, around when we started going to junior meets, Kasumi asked me, If we could be number one in the world, does that mean we get all the ice cream we could eat? All with a straight face, of course. She can be really funny sometimes. <laughs> so obviously I told her, Kasumi, you're a super genius. How old was she again? Well, we were just kids, but she really was a genius, you know? Everything came so easily to her, and every day she only got better. You remember why my coach said, Senpai? That my... well, that Kasumi's greatest weapon was her boldness? Kasumi was always so bold. She was like a beacon of confidence. So... And one day, I realized I would never catch up. It didn't matter how hard I tried, I'd have consolation prizes for the rest of my life. Kasumi was always the one up on the podium. But even when she won her ice cream, she never ate it with me. Or without me. I always told her not to worry about me, but she still said she'd wait until we could enjoy it together. 
She really believed in me. She said we'd be the best in the world someday. She had her own practices to do, but she was always so busy helping me. She spent hours trying to help me. For <laughs> the ice cream, right? She cared about you. There was like, how am I missing all these notes? She was so kind and strong. She was the perfect older sister. I... Kasumi's kindness was so, so infuriating. I can imagine. She was always the one on the podium surrounded by flashing cameras, but all I could do is watch from the shadows. I'm not Kasumi, and no matter what I do, I'll never be like her. If she'd just given up on me, it wouldn't have hurt so much. At least then people would stop trying to compare us. Um, what about her feelings? I'm sorry. <laughs> You're right. I'm supposed I was just selfish in the end. <laughs> the thought kept coming back. Every day, my mind went back to it. Everyone would be better off if I didn't exist. Either that, or I should just be like Kasumi. She's the one people really want. Samiri's the one who's useless, pointless. Who would care if she died? But my sister died instead. Why did she have to protect an idiot like me? I watched her. You have to accept it. Yes, I'm done running away. Senpai. I can't stop here. Now I want to keep doing gymnastics as Samiri. I want to hit those heights Kasumi was aiming for. Otherwise, I'd never be able to face her. Please, listen to me. Oh, wow. Well, that's forward. I wish Ryuji and Morgana would, Morgana would argue again so I got the excuse to just say just fuck already and said Ah! That'd be weird. May, uh, Morgana in his... In his... Human form. Because that would be kind of hot. Please, will you keep going out with me now that I'm Samiri? I want you to hold me to this to make sure I don't run away from who I am again. Uh, I will. Thank you very much. Really? Thank you so much. You must think I'm pretty lame. But I guess that's Samiri. That's who I am. I have to get stronger, both in my heart and with my gymnastics skills. Maybe some other time. But for now, I'm Samiri Yoshizawa, and it's nice to meet you again. I can sense a deep bond of trust from Samiri. Alright, Confident Samiri Yoshizawa, the Faith Arcana rank 6 follow up. Chance to perform a follow up attack if Joker's attack does not down the enemy. Fitness talk if negotiation with any kind of shadow fails, you can try again. All right. That's a better ability. Your Faith Confident has increased to rank 6. How am I. Um. Well, to be fair, uh. My soundboard sounds come through the system. I'll show you. So that's the system channel. And that's different from the game recording. Like I'm recording the game audio separately so that I can balance it with my voice. So I don't have to use the system audio. So probably be like pick and choose when I put in the soundboard sounds. If I wasn't a boy slapper for putting herself down so much. <laughs> The frustrating thing about the soundboard sounds is apparently they have to go through the system channel because they're part of the... They come in through the browser, which plays through my default channel, uh, which is now the system channel. So, like, I can't play those without having the game. And it's a little bit irritating. I wish I could put them on a different channel, but I haven't figured out how yet. You can now earn more experience from Arcana Burst and Fusing Personas of the Faith Arcana. Samira can I use fitness talk? <sighs> I feel so much better with all that off my chest, Senpai. I think this really helped me. Now I can focus on turning over a new leaf and doing my best. Shall we go? Let's get some practice in until I have to go to club. We'll be training even harder than before, Senpai. I'll be extra strict from now on. 
I endured a long training session with Samiri. Thanks to Samiri's training, I feel like my stamina increased. All right. Your max HP increased by five. Um, hello. I'd like to thank you for what ha happened earlier today. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And I'm sorry you had to see such a pathetic side of me. As soon as I acknowledged myself to Samiri, my gymnastics training started to fall apart too. As soon as I acknowledged myself- oh, okay. Huh. But this is the real me, I guess. So what if it is? Wow, three notes. Finally. Interpretive gymnastics. Huh? I, well... <laughs> you're right! You know, you're right! So what if this is who I am? I made up my mind to keep com moving forward even without Kasumi. I can't just run and hide now. I'll think about where Kasumi got her strength from and what I can do as Sumiri. I'll calm down and think of all think all this through. Thank you for listening to all that. Okay, I'll talk to you again soon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're home. The weather is getting colder. Make sure you keep warm when you sleep. Yeah, thanks for the putting me in the loft. At least you gave me a heater. There's been this weird, there's been this streak of weird posts on the fan site. My mom is acting weird. I'm so lonely and hungry. Can she not see me? She doesn't answer me. The house is so cluttered. It's such a mess now. Um, uh, worth looking into. I thought you'd say that. So grab some extra info in advance. It says the smartphone's registered owner is Kuniko Kagami. The kid's gotta be making the posts using her mother, her mom's phone. I already checked the name with the meta nav and there's a hit. I think it's safe to assume this mom is neglecting her kid. Good work. <laughs> I didn't do too much except for, you know, everything. I just think a kid should never have to feel like she doesn't matter to her mom. I want to bring her back to her senses. I am PFP. What color would it be? I guess it would be red, wouldn't it? Let's discuss this more at the hideout, okay? Well, if we already got a hit in Mementos, we can't just ignore it. Mm. And from the sound of the posts, the victim here is just a little girl. There are still lots of people out there who need our help. Let's see what we can do for them. A small cry for help. Also a really depressing cry for help. Hey, hey! Oh yeah, let's go wash your sooty armor. So we can give that to you. Uh, I want to see this request. Okay, that's- there is an S-level request. Good to know. Wow! Alright, this should be Morgana's best protector. Okay. Uh, yeah, how can Kami do it, actually? I'll make some coffee. Um... Nah, it's fine. Come on. Actually, oh, I got it. Never okay. mind. Fuck. God damn it! I didn't know it reset. I guess I can sell the extra items. Whatever. All right, run the wash. Call, call, call me. Hi. What's up, maid girl? Really, it would be really bad if we like went out on a date with somebody else while she's doing laundry for us or if we just went to the bath <laughs> you can see what it does look like in the thieves den oh you can huh. all right let's make some coffee that's called kawakami <laughs> That probably fucks up the fact that she's doing laundry, though. Hmm. Go get your smokes, Dad. I love the smell of- But what does that have to do with Morgana? 
please do not actually clean your cat in the washing machine. Yes, all right. Master coffee times two. Do we get more coffee facts? Royal coffee facts? Royal coffee facts! <laughs> I know what this is. This is Brazilian bourbon. Okay, well now I want that. Let me explain. Are you ma ever mad because like we're using the expensive beans? Brazil produces the most coffee in the world. Their beans are known to be of high quality, have a balanced acidity, and a bitter finish. Brazilian bourbon, bourbon is only produced in small quantities, so it is rare within Brazil. It has a notably soft sweetness and clean finish. Sounds good. Yeah. We've been practicing with all your best beans. Well then. Kawakami suction. Hi. Kawakami's wormhole. <laughs> This is so true, have an orgasm every time he drinks coffee. Only my coffee, because it's that damn good. All right, thank you for the scarf. Where have you been? <laughs> the coffee got me for a mole. <laughs> Lewd. <sighs> hmm, crowded as always. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are... Japan first in list of most prosperous countries. Others are praising it as the perfect model of a developed country. The first economic boon of the 21st century, several businesses are reporting massive increases in earnings. The new cabinet shows strong approval ratings. However, has our antiquated political system been changed for the better? <sighs> Everyone's faces look so calm for some reason. But this happiness can't... Fucking Vita, man. What's up? Yo. What's wrong? Well, you know. So, you got time later? There's something I want to talk to you about, if you're free, I mean. <laughs> Just make new coffee beans. Morgana's not a civet. Sweet, thanks. It was definitely worth waiting around. Whoa! Crap, is everyone else already at school? We gotta book it. You know. I was cleaning my room the other day and I found a collection of stories that I bought when I was a student. You've all heard of the restaurant and many orders by Kenji Miyazawa, right? It was aimed at children, but even when you read it now, it really pulls you in. <laughs> How would Regana look like a How would he look like a civet? Interesting. Speaking of, one of Kenji Miyazawa's strengths is the sense of naming fictional, fictional lands in his stories. Atav is the most famous among them. This place is loosely named after the author's hometown. Okay, now... Answer this question. I think she waxes. What do you think the fictional land of Ayatav is mo modeled after? Um... Uh, I don't know. Wadi feels too obvious. Fuck it. I don't need the this knowledge. Okay. Way to go. Yep, that's correct. Hayatov is Kenji Miyazawa's fantasy world, his utopia. A utopia is an ideal world, separate from our own world. No way. <laughs> too much fuzz. Now I feel bad. <laughs> Her, her hair is not the only thing that's fuzzy. Maybe I should. Uh, all right, I don't need to read that part. Nice going. <laughs> Yay! Useless knowledge. Or not fuzzy, fluffy. Your own little paradise, huh? It'd be amazing if that actually existed. All the booze and meat you want. Oh, but then I'd be fat and perpetually hungover. You know what? Maybe things aren't so bad as they are. 
Kawakami is pretty realistic. I think that's the first fucking class she's ever taught. About the actualization. Did something happen? One of my fellow artists no longer works in the medium. You mean they gave up painting? A booze reaper? To be precise, their entire history and existence as a painter are no more. For real? Actualization sure is some spooky stuff. But doesn't that mean Maruki just killed their dream? No. In this reality, they have apparently always been in archery. They're quite skilled as well from what I've gathered. Seriously? But why archery? I don't know the exact reason, but it was most likely Maruki's judgment call. Yeah, I think Anne would trim. Mikado shaves? Maybe. She might trim. He pried into your associate's cognition and concluded archery would be the best fit for them. So that's what Dr. Maruki considers salvation. He probably concluded that the arts were generating suffering for them. I suppose he thought this would be a superior path. Now that you mention it, they did say before that they were stuck in a terrible slump. But doesn't that mean all of the effort up to now was just wasted? Protecting people from their pain must matter most than their lost efforts. From his point of view, of course. Huh, <laughs> a real utopia. It may be to them, but not to me. I can never live with myself like that. <sighs> Throwing away your past to live in blissful ignorance? Yeah, I can never live like that either. Uh, do you think Ryuji shaves, trims, or waxes? <laughs> so Jiro, definitely waxes. I already given up on that dream. I want to take better care of myself. Drink with the group? Are you stupid? You can't drink during a discussion. The manager? He's always been reliable. He's still considered a subordinate, too. You're gonna forgive your boyfriend? What if he starts hurting you again? What are you talking about? He's never done that. We're totally happy together. <laughs> wow. I wonder what Ryuchi wanted to talk about this morning. Come to the arcade. No. Alright. Uh, full force. Alright, I guess we should probably go do that. Because Aunt's not there. Alright, where is he? A Makoto and Ryuji. Alright, he's probably just out in the hall. Hmm? Alright, we'll do this and we'll call the stream after this. <laughs> I hope I can do it. You know, they... They have... I forget what the name of it is, but... They, they make razors that have, um... Body hair guards. Basically just for that. I wouldn't use it because it's electric, and that would give you bumps. Oh, hey. I am going to try to get a third persona, but she's not available. Yo. Uh, got you got some, some time. time right now? There's something I need to tell you. Otherwise, I mean, it's just going to keep weighing me down. Sounds like Ryuji has something important he wants to tell me. Hey, hey. Ryuji looks pretty serious. So what do you plan on doing? Want to hang out with him today? Uh, hang out with him. Sorry. Sorry if I'm taking you away from anything. Let's go, dude. Yusuke probably changes his design every every week. Uh. What the fuck, dude? Is this your room? I like your pinup poster. <laughs> so, uh, man, how do I say this? I'm flattered, Ryuji, but. It ain't like that! No. I mean, I guess it was weird having you- inviting you to my room out of the blue like that, but don't get the wrong idea. Well, there's something I want to talk about. Since we're bros and all, I figured I'd just invite you over. Oh, my bad, man. Look, I'm sorry. I know I gotta apologize to you. I forgive you. <laughs> Jeez, that fast? You don't even know what it's about yet! Just listen, okay? I want this apology to mean something, damn it. It's like, you know how things have been for me from the new year to a little while ago? 
how Dr. Maruki gave me a dream life and I just kind of went with it. <sighs> we basically split, spent last year together and you supported me through a bunch of personal shit too. I even told you it helped whenever you needed it. Now, well, even I know I really let you down. But you did help me. Now that was a little late. You'd already figured everything out, new from the start, right? I mean, sure, I could fight with the rest of the team like nothing's wrong. But I don't know, feels like that'd be betraying all the stuff we built up together. Alright, hang on a sec. I'd... I don't think I can dismiss his... his thing. His, uh, splash. No wonder he's so fucking good at darts, though. He's probably got one of those automatic dart boards. But he's got, like, no TV. Doesn't even have fucking Nintendo. Either way, I can't just let this go. I gotta settle things somehow. So watch this. Oh. Ryuji, I'm flattered, really. <laughs> Don't do that. That surprised me. <laughs> it was perfectly timed, too. <laughs> he does his sprite in the wag. His sprite in the- he does his sprite in the way? Does have a sprite in the way. I think I figured out what you meant. <laughs> Not gonna stop till you say I can't. Can't forgive myself unless I do this. Can't believe how lame I was. Shitty thing to do. Uh, that's the Ryuji I know. Oh, he does have a TV. Oh, okay, I see it. Alright, it just disappeared for a minute. Huh? The hell's that supposed to mean? <laughs> that I'm not for this moment. That was perfect. That was great timing. He was pretty much at the bottom. I'm gonna have to leave that one in. <laughs> I can't think and flex at the same time. Should've figured this would be pointless. I tried to think of something good, but even though I know I'm dumb. Hey. So I... I really wanted to keep going with the track team. Hope I could keep... Keep it going. Maybe get a scholarship and be a star athlete in college. Make life easier for my mom. And yeah, the dog's big dream world would have made that happen. But still... I don't know. When I think about it, I realize maybe it isn't that hard a decision. When I went through all that bad shit, got wrapped up in the hate in Kamishida, turned into some delinquent, almost got the both of us expelled, started hanging out with An and Mishima more... Wait, how did she get us expelled? You would have been expelled, I would have been fine. And even had my big conversation with Nakeoka and Takeshi, Takeshi, even if they beat the crap out of me. <laughs> but that's all part of my life, I still own that, you know? It was a real shit show, so I was, it was a real shit show sometimes. But I came out of everything stronger, I'm here because I beat my problems. I can't just pretend they never happened, wouldn't be right. And... You've really matured. <laughs> Maybe. And that's why... I'll stick with the reality I fought for. The one where we went through all our shit together, that's where I belong. Oh, that's true. Right, right, right. Jesus, that was so long ago. Holy shit, I forgot. <laughs> I would've gotten a six spell too. Pretty cool. <laughs> Surfing a cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, man? Didn't know I still had this much power in me. Not bad. All right. Ryuji's persona, Saiten Tessei, has transformed into William. Wait, hold on a second. I know it did. I know it did that for um. For Morgana, but in their second awakening, did they have their their tarot cards out? I don't remember seeing that. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Everybody, look at me. I'm surfing on a boat. Man, I feel be way better now that I finally spilled my guts. Maybe tonight I'll finally get some sleep. 
That's all you needed? Look, you have no idea. When I gotta take a bath knowing I'm not gonna get to sleep in the futon after, that kills me. Uh, sorry. Guess I just dragged you over here to listen to me whine. Hang on a sec. What? Look, you have no idea. When I gotta take a bath knowing I'm not gonna get to sleep in the futon after that kills me. I... I read that. <laughs> Look, I know sometimes I'm, real, I'm a real pain in the ass, but... From now on, I'm gonna run with everything I got. <laughs> so all you gotta do is count on me. See ya. Dude, do you, know, you saved us from Shido. You run... You're pretty cool. Thanks for coming over today. See you around. All right. Fighting spirit. Ooh, holy shit. Next physical attack. Next physical attack deals over double the damage for all allies. I mean, that's 80 SP, but holy shit, that's good. Goodbye, charge, you think? Charge is still pretty cheap and it's for him. I think that would still be okay for him. Like, if I don't want to burn through ADSP, because he doesn't have that much SP. Alright, fine. But it's party. Alright, fine. Alright. Goodbye, charge. You're still bad at yeah. this, oh my god. Hmm, <laughs> welcome back. I'm beginning a lot of sociable customers lately. It's tiring me out. We got a really scary request. It says kill me. We don't do hits. I know that, but we can't just ignore it either, can we? The guy's name is now Minamoto. He lost both his parents really young and he's had to take care of his little sister ever since. He's been working really hard at a part-time job to support them both, but right now he hates his sister so much that he can't take it. She's his only family, but he can't control how he feels. At some point, he was so mad he shoved her, but she stumbled and... I guess she got hurt really badly. It's an unfortunate accident, but he says he can't accept that. Is his sister okay? <laughs> I'm sure that Akechi waxes. Akechi probably enjoys the pain. I mean, he's the ace detective friends and like, he, he screams Loki when he rips it off. <laughs> Loki rip! <laughs> it seems like she's fine. He just thinks there's no guarantee it won't go worse next time. He'd rather just be killed. But changing his heart is bound to help somehow, right? So I clip that. You need to kill off those negative feelings inside of them. Kill me, huh? Talk about a morbid request. Okay, let's go. Let's help him before he does something even more drastic. Oh, my young sister, I cry for you. That feels like a reference. Alright, anything... I'm not gonna do it tonight, I'm just kinda curious if anything... ...pops up and important. Looks like it's basically back to more or less normal. Alright. Well, that's where we're gonna call it tonight, cause... I'm tired. I want to work on the bed frame. Get that done tonight. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate it. Nice little silly, kind of short Friday stream. Uh, we'll pick up from here. <laughs> uh, we'll pick up from here uh, probably Sunday. I'll probably start around 6-ish. Anyway, I'll see you then. Y'all have a good night. Uh, I want to see if anybody is online to raid since we're closing out kind of early.